Hi everyone, welcome back to the Photo Tristan channel, and in this video we're taking a look at a watch that really represents an insanely great value proposition. This is the Seiko SKX009 model. It is an automatic movement dive watch with day date, and this model comes in a all black version, which is called the Seiko SKX007. And in the version that you see here, which is a Pepsi blue and red version, which is the 009 version. And this is the version that I prefer it in. I just think that it looks uh, better and not as plain. But, you know, both versions are available to you. And the best thing about this watch is it's only about $200. So that's an insanely good price for an automatic movement watch. That is uh, a dive watch. Uh, goes all the way down to 200 meters. And it also has the day date as well. This watch uh, just incidentally was the watch that Robert Redford wore in the movie All is Lost. And the watch features very prominently in that movie. So if you're interested in just sort of seeing how this watch looks before you buy, you might want to check out that movie on Netflix or something like that. And, you know, it's a pretty decent movie as um, as it goes anyway. But, you know, the watch, uh, you can really see the watch there. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people who are into boating and diving wear this watch. It is a real workhorse watch for only $200, I have to say. And, you know, if you're into automatic watches, if you're into dive watches, if you're into sports watches at all, this is really a watch that's a must-have watch and almost a no-brainer for the price. Uh, it's very durable, like I said, it's quite reliable, it's automatic, so you don't have to wind it up if you wear it every day, it'll automatically wind. And it's just got a really cool look to it as well. Now, if something breaks on it, or you lose it, or, you know, something like that, you don't have to worry about it. So, you know, you can travel with it, and, you know, you can always just buy another one for $200 or whatever if you lose it. You know, it's not like you're having to babe it. Um, Whereas more expensive watches that are multi-thousands of dollars, you're always going to be a little bit nervous and stuff like that. Now it comes on this metal sort of a jubilee type of bracelet here. And I have to say that when you compare this bracelet to more expensive watches like from Rolex, Tudor, or Omega, there's really no comparison. I mean, this bracelet feels really chintzy and cheap and tinny. I think it's hollow inside, you know, the links and things like that. Um, so there's no comparison there. It just feels really cheap, but it's certainly quite wearable and comfortable. Uh, it just feels cheaper and, you know, it should be, feel a lot cheaper because it is a lot cheaper. You can also get an oyster bracelet from Seiko as well, which I believe is only like $60 or so. That bracelet, in my opinion, looks a little bit better than this one, but uh, this is the one that it comes with. But I actually like wearing this watch uh, without the metal bracelet, either on a NATO strap or a leather strap. I think uh, wearing it on a NATO or leather strap really enables you to color coordinate really well. And the Pepsi bezel and navy dial really looks good on different color NATO straps, uh, such as a leather NATO strap it looks great on. Or this uh, navy blue NATO strap that I have it on here. And this is also the way that uh, Robert Redford's character in the movie All Is Lost wore it. He wore the watch on a navy blue NATO strap, as you see it here. So the lug length or width is 22 millimeters. So if you're looking for a NATO strap for this watch, be sure to get the 22 millimeter uh, size. And I think it looks really good on different straps. Uh, you can kind of mix it up and, you know, it really picks up the color scheme of the watch really picks up well for different color NATO straps. So it's really quite versatile. This watch does tend to be more on the sort of casual sporty side. However, you can wear it with a suit and I think it would look pretty good. Um, and again, the color scheme on this watch is pretty amazing. I think it just looks really, really cool. And somehow looking at it, you know, looking at the hour indicators and stuff just reminds me of diving. You know, something about the shape of the, um, you know, indices on the dial reminds me of diving. I guess because the hour indicators are kind of like little blobs or something, they're a little bit liquid feeling. And in that respect, they kind of remind you of water. And of course, the color scheme as well with the dial being navy blue. The bezel uh, is a unidirectional bezel, which means that it won't get knocked out of place in the wrong direction when you're diving, so that's definitely uh, very useful. The width of the watch, I believe, is 42 millimeters, so that seems sort of on the large side. However, the crown is offset, as you can see, so that makes it wear and feel like a bit of a smaller watch, in that it's not digging into the back of your hand or anything like that when you're wearing it. So it really is very comfortable indeed. So considering that you're getting a fully automatic movement with this watch and you're getting water resistance down to 200 meters, it is really a cool watch for the price and represents a really good value proposition in my opinion.
the Seiko SKX009 really does punch above its price point, and I think is a total bargain at $200. Be sure to check the links for pricing and availability, and for community and discussion, I will see you in the comments.